What's in the box? Well, a whole lot of kick ass. This is the British L42A1 sniper rifle, but a layman could be forgiving for recognizing it as simply a sporterized Lee Enfield. And it was England's last Enfield rifle. Developed in the 1960s and deployed in the 70s, the L42A1 is essentially an upgraded number 4T sniper rifle, configured for use with 7.62 by 51. After the adoption of the 7.62 by 51 round as the NATO standard rifle round in the 50s, British Royal Small Arms Factory at Enfield developed a conversion for many surplus 303 British caliber Lee Enfield No. 4 rifles. The conversion included a cold hammer forged heavy barrel chambered for 7.62 mm NATO ammunition, a shortened forend, and handguard. Other changes include a high pressure bolt head proofed for 19 tons and marked 19T, and the old No. 32 3.5 powered telescopic sight was refurbished and the bullet drop compensation on the elevation drum modified for the ballistic characteristics of 7.62 by 51 in 50 meter increments out to 1,000 meters. You can even see where they force match the scope to the rifle with some fine British engraving work. The modified version was renamed the Telescope Straight Sighting L1A1. A new magazine suitable for the 762 by 51 NATO cartridge was attached, and the projection on the left magazine lip serves as an ejector. The butt with its screwed-on cheek piece was retained, however, the scope number on the wrist of the stock was obliterated with some X's and a new number applied. The markings on the left side of the receiver were obliterated and the new markings reflecting the new rifle's designation and chambering were also applied. The original markings are sometimes underneath. A new, larger transit case was also made for the L42A1s. The rifles were transported with a nice leather sling, a cleaning kit, a rod made by Parker Hale, and curiously, a spotting scope that looks like it may have served in the Anglo-Dutch Wars. Thank God the British have since upgraded their optics. About half of the approximately 900 rifles made were condemned and destroyed post-service by the Ministry of Defense, which is a shame as they're great pieces of history. Production of the L-42 rifles ceased in about 1985, when it was replaced by the Accuracy International L-96A1. However, it's worth noting that these were not deemed obsolete until the 1990s. It's amazing that such an old rifle served for so long, but it shows how venerable the infield really is. You also may have noticed the ammunition in the case that is close to the original loads this rifle would have been issued with, which means we have an upcoming shooting video to see what this rifle can do. Until next time, Big thanks to Ventura Munitions, the best place to buy ammunition online for making our program possible. Thanks for watching, and watch for this rifle on the range coming soon. Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFB TV. Really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, maybe consider donating a dollar or two a month to our Patreon account. It really helps us out and it would allow us to keep doing what we're doing. Until next time.